Hello Raptors, today we're going to continue our talk on clearing. This is the back four clear. So with the back four clear, you can notice that we have four players on the very far side of the end line. And we have three players up at the midfield line. We run this clear, uh, this is a basic end line clear, so when the ball is shot and we're starting behind the cage, this is very, very effective. This particular clear is also very effective against a, an aggressive man ride, uh, but also a zone ride. Um, you can notice that if there's a very aggressive man ride, we have a lot of very, very easy pass, passing options on that back row. Uh, also, we have the potential to create a lot of space up at the midfield since we only have three players instead of four. Uh, if we're running against a zone ride, uh, the zone's typically not, not going to go so far back to the, all the way to the end line, so it gives us a lot of room to get some momentum going, and then we use our four-man advantage to get past each set of the zone until we can pass up to the midfield and over to the attack field. So whenever we're running a back four clear, it's very, very important that we're always focused on the easiest pass possible. It's why we set this up. Uh, if we don't need to pass to the furthest pass away, then let's take it up nice and slow. If we have an opportunity to make an easy clear, we take it. Otherwise, we always make the easy pass. So when we're walking the ball up, it's going to look something like this. Just nice, easy steps. As we're moving up the ball, as we're moving up the field, we're passing the ball. And basically, that's it. Uh, at this point, though, we would need to react to the ride itself. We're going to be looking for the open man. Uh, at some point in this particular clear, the someone's going to open up. Um, and then we have our ball cleared right then and there. And that's it. Real simple.